Hey guys, for today's WPF tutorial, we are going to be talking about the view box in WPF. So basically what the view box is, is another WPF decorator. It basically allows any content that goes in it to be sized to the view box's bounds. So let's take this grid for example. I have a grid with three rows, three columns, and a button in the center. And that button has a text block in it. Just a plain text block. So I'm going to run this, and what you'll notice is when we resize the window, the button in that cell gets resized just fine, but the text block inside of the button does not get resized, unfortunately. And that just looks and feels kind of weird. So what we can actually do to illustrate what the view box does to help us is we can put the view box in a button. and we can put a text block in the view box and you can already see in the design view the text block is filling out the button much much better and even when we resize the window the text block scales up very very gracefully so there are a couple of key properties I want you guys to be aware of when using the view box the stretch direction property and the stretch property so I'm going to go ahead and comment all of this code out. And I'm going to bring in this dock panel with several buttons in it and a 900 by 900 pixel image inside of a view box. And what the four buttons up top are going to be doing is setting the stretch property and the three buttons on the bottom are actually going to be setting the stretch direction property. So when we set the stretch direction to up only, when we resize the window, the content is actually allowed to get bigger, but not smaller than its original size. So see here how it's getting bigger, but not smaller than 900 pixels. If we set the stretch direction to down only, we can see that the image cannot get any bigger than 900 pixels, but it is allowed to get as small as we want it to. And if we set the stretch direction to both, it's allowed to get as big as we want it, and it's allowed to get as small as we want it. So now I'm going to put a max height and width of 500 onto the view box. And we're going to start playing around with the stretch property. So first we're going to set the stretch property to none. And what this is going to do is it's just going to remain its original 900 pixel by 900 pixel size. We can set stretch to fill, and what that's going to do is it's going to allow the content to be resized to fit the view box's dimensions, but as you can see, the aspect ratio of the image is not going to be preserved. However, when we set stretch to uniform, the content is resized to fit in the view box, as well as preserve the aspect ratio of the image. Now if we set the uniform to fill, the content is going to be resized to fill the view box dimensions while it preserves its native aspect ratio. As we can see, the aspect ratio of the view box is different from the image, and so the image's content is going to be clipped to fit in the view box's dimensions. So that is actually it for today, guys. I hope from today's video you understand what the view box does and how the stretch and stretch direction properties work. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave those below the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and see you guys next time.